you guys I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my nails I personally hate the smell of acrylic and I've been doing my nails like this for many many years these are the materials that you're going to be needing you're going to need nail glue a nail filer nail clippers nail polish a cotton ball and 91% alcohol to prep your nail before you put on the false nails Now I'm going to show you guys how I clean my nails and get rid of the oil on my nail beds. I'm going to take the 91% alcohol, I'm going to pour it onto a cotton ball, and I'm going to put that cotton ball on my nail beds. Next, I'm going to take my nail filer and I'm going to file every single last one of my nail beds. During this step, you do need to take your time and make sure you file all the way through. Now that your nails are all filed and ready, you're now going to go inside of the false nails box and you're going to start to pick out nails and make sure it's the correct size as your real nails. This step is very important because you want to get a nail that's just right. Not too big, not too small, but just right. And there's so many different sizes to choose from depending on how big your fingernails are. So make sure you take your time and make sure you're picking the right one. After taking your time to pick out the right set of nails, you're going to take your nail glue, you're going to place that on the nail bed. This is a technique that I use. Mind you, I am in no way, shape, or form a nail tech. These are just the ways that I have been doing my nails, and so this is what I'm going to show you all. So I place the nail glue directly on my nail bed. And what I do is I pick up the false nail, and I place that in the middle of my nail, and I press it down hard and make sure that the adhesive and my nail bed are stuck together. Once you've applied all of your false nails, it's now time for you to pick up your nail clips because it's time for you to size the nail and shape the nail to the shape that you want. Many people leave the nail how it is. The shape does come perfectly fine, but I personally, this time, I didn't want my nails to be that long. I do have things to do on my laptop. I have a lot of things to type. So I'm just going to make my nails a little bit shorter. I'm going to use my nail clip and the nail file to get it to the perfect shape that I want it to be for this style. After taking my time to shape the nail, it came out perfect. This is the exact shape that I was going for. So now I'm going to do the exact same thing to the rest of my nails and I'm going to come back and show you guys the results. Now that I've shaped my nails to the size that I want, it's now time to paint my nails. I just wanted to show you guys how the shape came out. This is the nail color that I'm using today. I have no idea what color this is. And I'm not sure what brand of nail polish it is, but it was a perfect nail polish for the look I was going for.
this was the final look. I'm very happy with the way it turned out. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye! Thank you.